Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Clover. I know that I'm really exposed. It looks like I'm super greasy, but I'm just like highlighted and such a weird lighting. So like the sun's going down, it's kind of like later in the day and the sun's kind of just going down. So we're getting some interesting lighting right now, but ignore it. Today we are back for a kind of like a collective Bratz haul. I haven't been filming recently. I've just been kind of focusing on me, focusing on like taking a break from like, you know, school and studying. Um, so I've just been having a good time, like, you know, focusing on myself, having fun, hanging out with friends, like, you know, things that one should be doing to just take care of himself and have like a good time. So I'm going to be showing you a few things, something that I'm super excited for some just loose dolls, but I think we should start with just the loose dolls. So first, we have Miss Shoddy, or Soddy, Miss 10th Anniversary. Bruh, this doll is gorgeous. Probably one of my favorite dolls from that 10th Anniversary line. I think this is her, for her full outfit. I probably, I mean, I'm gonna rebody her and redress her at some point. Um, don't even know if that's her original hairstyle. I feel like she had her hair down, to be honest. But she's so gorgeous. Just such a gorgeous doll. So glad to have her. Her outfit's like really interesting, as you can see, but it's about the doll, not the outfit. But I'm super excited personally to have her. I got her on Mercari. And she's just so gorgeous. Like those hoops, those freaking hoops such a gorgeous doll i'm literally like just like otherworldly excited to have her added to my collection so next we also have another 10th anniversary doll this is miss lydia another really gorgeous 10th anniversary doll that i'm just really excited to have she's wearing like weird shoes i think these are like some 2007 2008 shoes but do you see lydia Probably one of my favorite dolls from the 10th anniversary. I don't know, people who don't like this screening, like, what don't you like about this screening? Like, how do you not see this screening? This screening is so cute. Um, I actually shared some, like, spoilers, not spoilers, but some teasers of, like, a picture of her face and just, like, how gorgeous she looked as, like, a legend and a queen over on my Instagram. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, it is down below. It is linked down below. Feel free to follow me over there too because I do post doll content as well on Instagram such gorgeous doll like look at these girls like they're iconic I can't even like talk about them enough both of them do need a little bit of a makeover Lydia's hair feels a little bit like crunchy feeling like you know not the best and like shoddy shoddy sounds like she needs like not much. She kind of smells a little bit smoky, so I'll obviously wash her, but gorgeous girl. Gorgeous bangs. I love these bangs on her. Just so excited to have her. And then I have three dolls from a lot that I got on Depop, actually, for a really, really great price. Paid $28 for these dolls, plus shipping. But, girl, their hair is, like, low-key a mess. But here are two of the winter triplets. I have no idea which ones these are, but these are two of those winter triplets with their full outfits. Um, this one even has like her second earrings. So really cute dolls. Um, never thought I'd find them to be honest. They are um, not hard to find, but I mean, these ones are kind of hard to find to be honest. Like these triplet dolls, you won't find these dolls like that often. They just don't pop up like that. Especially not these winter time ones. Because they actually got re-released. So these winter twins, these winter triplets also have like just a normal triplets line. Um, but I don't know if they re released them as well for like the winter, the winter time collection. Not winter time Wonderland, but like winter time collection. Because I think she's literally wearing what winter time Sasha. Like her full outfit. Just gorgeous dolls. They both are literally just Princess Chloe. So interesting that they just literally have the same exact screening as Princess Chloe, but still really gorgeous dolls. So happy to add them to my collection. Again, I just like didn't think I would get these dolls. Like they are just, you know, harder to find dolls. Hair is like literally gross. I'm gonna have to like really fix this hair, but 
so excited to have these girls in my collection. At least I have two of them. Like I low-key might never find that triplet, um, but at least I have two. Like I have, at least they're twins. <laughs> they're just like, you know, they're not like just one of them, but such gorgeous dolls. I mean, literally I could get somebody or I could reroute another Princess Chloe and give them their triplet. And also in that lot is another Peyton. So here's just another Peyton. I decided to pick her up from the seller again. Their prices were really good. And they had the third winter triplet boots on. So I thought if I ever find that triplet, I can really just kind of find her like really plain. I have the boots already and I can easily find that jacket because I think their jackets are literally just reused winter collection jackets. Girl, her hair is a mess. But really great doll, really gorgeous doll. And again, I love um, Peyton, one of my favorite twins dolls. I'm not really a big fan of Nevea, but I don't know, maybe that's an unpopular opinion. I don't like the red in the hair because I just don't like colored hair. Like, just not my favorite. I should keep showing Miss Shoddy. <clears throat> Soddy, shoddy, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. But then we have another Depop purchase. It's a two. So I purchased two of these girls. So here we have Wintertime Wonderland Jade looking stunning with her Kanekalon hair. Like literally, oh my god, shaking her head, but a Kanekalon goddess. And then here we have a Rock Angels Chloe. Um, <clears throat> they don't come with any of their clothes, but I got them for a really good price. Like seven or eight dollars each and i kind of want to give um one of the dolls the belly button so like i just love the belly button ring and chloe is probably like, the cheapest one maybe i'll give peyton the belly button ring like i just love the belly button piercing and i know i could probably do it myself but i don't want to ruin the bodies um like i don't modify my dolls in any way unless i did actually give one of my peyton's a haircut but it was because it was literally unsalvageable I want to see what she looked like with a little bit of a chopped haircut. It gives me like good practice as well for if I do reroutes. Um, but I love the belly button piercing. I think it's such a cool like little ad. And I like that like, you know, you're not modifying your dolls if you give them um, like a rock angel's body. Like that's literally just another brat's body. It's perfectly fine to do that. Like there's no modification involved and like you're not destroying like a body. So I'm like perfectly fine with modifying my dolls but I just want it to look how I want it to look. And I know I probably couldn't get my doll to look like that, like with that cute belly button ring, but maybe that's just me. I love Jade's connect on hair though. She's gonna be so fun to little, give her a little makeover. Um, I just love Wintertime Wonderland Jade. I think I have a few of her already, but hey, if I see a cool and pretty Jade with some connect on hair just to see it, um, I'll pick her up. And I think Wintertime Wonderland Jade is Probably the prettiest Wintertime Wonderland doll. Yeah, that's not a hot take. I don't think that's an unpopular opinion. Um, maybe Sasha is just as pretty, but I don't know. I don't really love the Wintertime Wonderland dolls, their faces, and the fashion's a little bit cringe too, but no hate to Wintertime Wonderland if that is your favorite doll line or your favorite Bratz doll line, but it's just currently not my fave. I don't know what my fave doll line is. Um, I don't know. I think maybe the twins lines. I think they kill the twins lines. Like, um, Krista and her twin, um, like Nona and Tess, which I literally don't have a Nona and I don't have a Tess. So let me know if anybody, um, has any Nona and Tesses that they're willing to like, you know, sell to me or something. <laughs> I just don't have any Nonas or Tesses, but I love their outfits. I love Phoebe and Roxy, of course. And there's probably other twins like the, you know, I know Valentina, Oriana, they had like a twin series as well. I didn't love their, you know, their twin vibes, but you know, triplets was cool. I love the triplets dolls. So now we have another huge box, just gigantic, like, you know, crazy big box of just doll stuff. Let's see, I bought, I purchased this lot so long ago. I sure don't even remember what's in here. I'm moving, I'm just gonna get rid of all the clothes and accessories first, not get rid of it, but we'll go through the dolls first. So first we have a Bratz Boys Colby, I'm pretty sure, but again, let me know down below in the comments if you know who it is. He's cool, so I'm gonna put these dolls down here so I have room for the, like the hall dolls. Put Colby down there. 
Here we have a sweetheart Yasmin, who is actually one of my doll of the videos. I'm not having a doll of the video today because I think I want like literally shoddy. Like, oh my gosh, she whipped me in the face. I want her to be the doll of the video. Even though I just got her in this lot, she is just too gorgeous not to make the doll of the video. Honestly, if Lydia came in like a little bit better condition and I would make her the star of the video because low-key Lydia is so gorgeous, but she again came a little bit messed up. Here's twins, um, twins Oriana. Oh my gosh, my voice just cracked. Her hair is real messed up. I actually don't even have any Orianas, so it's unfortunate that she is in this condition, but, you know, I probably can fix her up a little bit, you know, do something with her hair so it doesn't look this bad. But that was Oriana. Here's like big sister, the big sister doll that has like the fashion pixies body. Just cool. I think I have a few of her at this point, but you know, cool to have her. I don't really display her to be honest. Like just kind of don't like her body. I might um, give her a normal brass body. Here's Miss Slumber Party Chloe. I think, I mean, or this is Campfire Chloe, Sweet Dreams Chloe. It's like one of those Chloe's. Gorgeous doll in really rough condition, so let's move on. Here is Miss Wild Wild West Soria. Again, these dolls are just like going through it, but gorgeous face. I think Soria is just like a gorgeous doll in general. Um, look at that screening. Such a pretty doll. Moving forward, we just have a lot of, not that many dolls actually, it was mostly clothes and accessories. But here's a Bratz Twins Phoebe, of course, because, you know, what is a lot if you don't get a Bratz Twins Phoebe? Here is a cute little Bratz Kids Yasmin. Such a cute little Bratz Kids Yasmin. Just a Cameron. We're just going to keep going. I don't even know what the line is, to be honest. This is probably Eaton of some sorts. I, again, don't know what line it is, but I can just like presume it's Ian. Here is a cute little Eye Candies Phoebe, really cool doll. Don't have any other Eye Candies Phoebes, so, you know, she's not in great condition, but still nonetheless, happy to have her. She has like a really weird screening, but I don't know. Also, you can buy those Eye Candies dolls just on AliExpress, like new in box. Um, this is like a Head Games Dana, I think. <laughs> She's like on a broken body, that's funny. Such a gorgeous screening again. If like I ever get into rerouting, I will probably reroute this Dana because girl, her hair is like destroyed, but she is such a gorgeous face. Let's keep going. Just a random Yasmin. I honestly don't know who, wish I did, but she's not that memorable, so it's not that deep. Here's like one of those Star Singers dolls. Not Star Singers, but you know, the ones with the wigs from 2013. Here's Miss Sasha, looking gorge though, like an actual goddess, but again, I don't know how I feel about this. I like the pixie cut, like it adds like, again, diversity in hairstyle, so. Love her for the pixie cut, but she's just not it. Then here we have another Yasmin. This is either like soccer team's Yasmin. This might be a head games Yasmin. Um, not 100% sure. Let me know down below in the comments if you know. This is definitely not Nighty Night because of that lipstick and she's not like Slumber Party either. So it might be that one head game doll. Let's keep going. And here we have Step Out Yasmin. Looking really pretty. Like, I love this Yasmin. She's really underrated, to be honest. Um, love her so much. I think that was it for the dolls. I'm excited again to have all of them. I think I like, got this lot for like the clothes in stuff included, so not too big about the dolls, but I'm still excited to have them, of course. Here's just a bag of clothes. Let's go through. I'll see if there's anything notable in here. A jacket. Is this Never's jacket? I don't know. Another little jacket. Again, if you know any of these pieces, feel free to just let me know. This looks like it's Bratz Boys. Bratz Boys again. Sorry, I'm like not showing it correctly. A really cute skirt. Again, I don't know where it's from, whose it is, but still cute nonetheless. 
think this is Barbie. Here's another dress. Don't know if it's Bratz or not. Just, you know, let me know in the comments if you do know. Here's another dress. Again, like, don't know if it's Bratz. We're just, like, gonna keep going quickly. I'm pretty sure this is Bratz. Something I literally don't know. This is Jade's or something. This is one of Jade's pants. Funk out, funkin' glow. Here's Express It Megan's jacket. If you don't have a thousand of those, um, <laughs> just if you don't have it. Here's like a cute little shawl. Might be um, Forever Diamonds. Here's an Ice Champions little thing. A Bratz Boy shirt. Sorry, I'm like rushing through these, but there's so many clothes. Boys pants. Let's see. I think these are Sweetheart Yasmin's um, skirt. It's like tattered. That Sweetheart Yasmin's skirt. Here's a dress. It's like real tattered as well. Here's a slumber party jacket. I think these are Express It Sasha's skirt. Really cute, some slumber party pants, funky monkey. I don't know who that is, but it's someone's. A Bratz boy's jacket. Is this a Sunka summer boy's jacket? There is so much. Here's like a cheerleading Sasha shirt. We're cheerleading someone. It's like um, one of those funkin' gloves or something. It's one of their skirts. Another skirt. This is like a Little Bratz or like a Bratz kid skirt. Probably Little Bratz. It's like big though for Little Bratz. I think this is that Never is sure, but not quite sure. A really cute little black skirt. Girl, another Express It Megan jacket. Um, Style It Dina's skirt. Some that I have memorized, some that I don't have. Here's another Sunky Summer Boys top bottoms. Here's Bratz Twins Phoebe. Um, these are her shorts, I mean her pants. And here's a Slumber Party top. Is this Bratz Boys, Bratz Girls? I don't know, it's like the Funky Monkey, so I think it's one of the girls. And then this is all just boy stuff, so I'm not gonna go through it, it's not that interesting. Um, are these girl pants? I'm not sure, but that was it for the clothes. This is just like literally a bag of like boys clothes um, that like I don't want to be honest. So I'll probably let my friends know. <laughs> we'll talk about the boys stuff. So we're back and we have more shoes. Here we go. They kept them all together, which was super nice. Um, here's first edition Chloe's um, second shoes. Obviously first edition, first edition. There's no holes at the bottom. Just more pants. Here is Step Out Jade shoes. Not quite sure. Here is Winter Wintertime Wonderland Chloe's um, boots. Love those boots, but I also have so many of those boots. Um, don't know whose shoes these are. Super cute shoes though, nonetheless. And some combs. We love to see the combs, I guess. I like low-key don't, you know, don't really collect the combs, but there is a welcome. Here's another comb set, another comb set, and another comb set. Some wintertime Wonderland boots, maybe Sasha, not quite sure. These are like the special wintertime Wonderland boots from like the wintertime re-releases. It's the combs for me. More combs just like pushed in together. Some really cute heels. I've never seen these heels before. Maybe they're formal funk heels, I'm not sure. I'm like not getting them close enough to the camera, but let me know if you know what those heels are because they are super adorable. Here are some really cute black heels. We've all seen them, we all love them. Don't remember which doll they go to, unfortunately. More Wintertime Wonderland boots. I literally think Wintertime Wonderland is like probably one of the easiest sets to complete. Maybe, I mean, there is a lot of accessories, so probably not, but it seems like Wintertime Wonderland is like always floating around. Like every lot, I get something for like Style at Dana. Um, I get something for Express at Megan, or I get like literally like Wintertime Wonderland boots, um, jackets, something. It's hard, probably harder. I don't even know if I have any of the mittens. These are some really cute pumps. I think these are Sweetheart Yasmin's pumps, but that's just an assumption. 
And here's some really cute shoes. Are these spring fling something? I'm not sure. Some 2018 shoes. I mean, not 2018, 2012 shoes. More pumps that are still really cute. I love that they package them like this with the rubber bands around each individual pair of shoes. Ooh, these are really cute. I wish I knew all these shoes names, but these ones are so adorable. Let's keep going. I think these are like style it Dana's little shoes or one of the Yasmin's, Express It Yasmin's, so many of that doll as well. Here's these shoes, super gorgeous. I know I'm literally not giving any of these shoes more time, but there's still more over here, like some unassorted ones. Wintertime Wonderland boots, of course, looking gorge. Let's see. Here are some Yasmin shoes. I don't know which Yasmin shoes, but these ones are exceptionally gorgeous. And I have seen them before. Let's keep going. Um, here's more Yasmin shoes that are exactly like those other red ones, but in a different skin tone these shoes before as well. I think these might be like one of the Fianna shoes. I'm not sure. They might be a Never shoes as well. Then we just have some like assorted ones that like, you know, they're, they're in pairs, but they're rubber band broke, I guess. Oh, here's more um, Wintertime Wonderland boots. I think these are the Ice Champions boots, but let me know down below in the comments. Don't want to be wrong about that. Here's just some more boots. I mean, sh like heels. My gosh, there's so many strappy heels, but they're so cute. And I love shoes. I literally think I heard this a lot for like shoes and clothes. Here's the last pair of shoes. Just again, another really cute pair of heels. I love strappy heels. I'm glad to like have more. So I'm just gonna put them back in their bag so that we can take like a good thumbnail at the end. But are you guys excited that Bratz re-released? Like I'm super excited to be honest. I ordered Chloe. Um, they're all like literally sold out and I haven't gone to Hot Topic in person yet just cause, girl, not Hot Topic, but um, <laughs> no hate or shade to Hot Topic. I just don't like regularly go in there. Um, so I just didn't, I haven't like wanted to go in. But I did get to order Chloe online so she'll be coming and I'll unbox her of course. Um, depending on how she looks, like, I don't know. I, I mean, if she looks bad, obviously, I'm unboxing her. Um, but if she's, like, perfect, pristine, her eyebrows aren't super, super dark, I might keep that one in the box and unbox, like, another one from, like, Target or something. Um, but, yeah. How do you guys feel? I know that where I live, um, the mask mandate is lifted. So it is not required, um, like, by the state to wear your mask anymore, anywhere. Um, I know at least in my, my complex, like my apartment complex, you have to wear your mask. Um, it's just like, I don't know, kind of like retirement vibes at my apartment complex. So of course, like you'd wear your mask around like older individuals. Um, but I've been choosing to wear my mask still just in public, make sure, again, I'm staying safe, but you know, this isn't like a COVID channel, like I've said before, but let me know in the comments below, like, How's your country or state doing in terms of masks? Are you still wearing them? Like, obviously, like, if we're all vaccinated, like, it's perfectly fine to not wear a mask if you don't want to. But honestly, I like wearing a mask. Unpopular opinion. Well, maybe a popular opinion. When I put makeup on, I just want to, like, not be seen and, like, with people in my face. So I just, like, put one on. But, like, I did travel to Japan and, like, years ago, and, like, obviously, like, I still, I wore a mask there, like, when I looked bad, um, just because it is part of, like, um, the culture in some of East Asia, but mostly Japan. Like, when you're sick, you wear a mask. Not with COVID, like, before, but, like, now everybody wears a mask, obviously. Here's a hat. I don't know whose hat it is, but it is, in fact, a hat. Another skirt. Another skirt. One of the Express It Megan belts, I think, for Express It Megan, I mean Express It Yasmin, hopefully I got that right. Really cute little purse. Don't think I own that. It's this for me. It's like this briefcase. What is this? It's probably Bratz Boys. A huge duffel bag. Maybe it's like a Play Sports one, or it could be like just a Sunk Summer. I got these bags are huge. Dang. Like, look at the doll next to the bag. Maybe it's for, like, bigger birds? I don't know. Let me know down below in the comments if you know what those bags are from. 
a really cute little black clutch. So gorge. I love how the lighting is literally like fading and I'm just like vibing though. Girl, I don't know. What oh, oh my God, so cute. Here's a little phone. Love that, love the phones. The phones are like such a serve, so iconic. Here's a Expressit Sasha bag. I know that's like one of those Expressit bags, hopefully. Um, here's another little denim purse, so cute. Here's like a Mycene clutch or a Barbie clutch. I don't know, ignoring it. And a Mycene bag and a really cute headband for brats or Mycene, I'm not quite sure. And here's a skirt that I have a thousand of, that you might have a thousand of if you get lots and collect brats. It's funny how um, like doll collecting, it becomes like such a pattern. Like you see which dolls for some reason are always in lots. Like, why is that? Maybe they went on clearance um, like really frequently back in the day. And I don't know, they just like went on clearance and didn't really come back off. I have two bags of shoes here, but they are all mismatched shoes for the most part, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I'm only going to show a few of them if I can find some matches. Just to like, you know, make it clear. Here we have some really cute treasures boots. Don't know whose boots these are, but in fact, they are gorge. So we love those boots. I don't think there's really many matches in here, to be honest. I think we're just like, but this all came with a lot. There probably is matches. They probably just got lazy to do all the sorting like they did last time. Some super cute heels. Like y'all, these are iconic heels. The shape is so iconic. I don't know who those are for, but those are some really cute heels, but there's probably just like literally one of them. These shoes are really cute. Love these too. Whose shoes are these? These are really cute shoes. But I think that's it, to be honest, for this lot. Like, I do have, like, again, two, two huge bags full of some more, like, mismatched shoes. Um, that I'm not going to be going over just because this video is getting really long. I want to make sure that it's um, to the point, succinct. But, guys, that was the lot. Like, let me know how you guys felt about that eBay lot. And, again, so many really cute dolls. Again, these ones need a lot of work, the ones from the lot. Um... So I will be putting work into those dolls. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you enjoy other Bratz doll, other content, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah, it's fun. I upload um, Bratz content, other content, but today was just a haul, just showing you guys all the Bratz that I got um, collectively. So super excited that I have all these. I'm really excited to like transform them. I have a tripod now. That's what you're watching this on. Um, so I'm excited to have the tripod so I can get like good camera angles because camera angles are what like really can trigger me. But okay, I'm going to go and eat some food because I'm really hungry and it looks like it's like literally nighttime, but it's like six o'clock. Um, thank you guys so much for watching again. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on your notifications, do all that fun YouTube stuff. <laughs> and until next time, bye everyone.